The AM94 is the last assault rifle you unlock in Black Ops 2. It has a weird sort of um, modification on it where you, uh, the first two shots of every burst you fire are fired at a higher rate than the other shots it has. That has an impact on medium to long range because at medium range and long range you don't have to focus on adjusting your aim so much because the other guys don't move as much due to the distance. So you can focus on actually burst firing your weapon so that pulling the trigger very quickly as it is automatic it will respond very quickly and it will increase your fire rate by a lot and make you much more deadly. But at very close range it's much more important to focus on getting the shots on the target than to burst fire and if you try and burst fire you're going to be focusing on the wrong thing and then you're going to start missing and <laughs> it's going to be pretty difficult to hit. Other than that, it's a pretty standard assault rifle. It's a bit more aggressive than some of the other assault rifles, so you can use it a little bit like a submachine gun at medium range. Although, when you do get to close range, you are outmatched by the submachine guns, which um, well, which is the case for most assault rifles. The hip fire of the A94 isn't the best, so I wouldn't recommend uh, hip firing and then going to aiming down the sight unless you are at medium range, close medium range. Other than that, you <laughs> out of that, you're not going to hit anything with the initial hip fire, or you're very unlikely to hit something with it. So there's no real point in wasting the time it does take to prepare to do that in order to uh, get that first hit. So the class is set up around making you resistive to explosives, and also making the AN-94 a bit easier to handle, since it does have a fair amount of recoil and a relatively slow aim time. Since you can be a bit more aggressive, uh, Flak Jacket and Tactical Mass are very useful to resist the impacts of tactical and lethal equipment. Some of it anyway, uh, the uh, EMP grenade is still pretty powerful. Because you are going to be using the aim down side feature, and in general uh, flinching is pretty annoying, so using toughness just reduces that flinching and makes it easier to hit enemies. It's a very standard perk, there's not much else that's really important in the uh, perk 2 slot. As for the lethal grenades, uh, I feel that Semtex is better because you're going to be more at close range, you're not going to be at longer range, where frag grenades or the standard grenades are better than the Semtex. But C4 and any of the other stuff is also pretty good. Tactical grenades, I would recommend going with uh, Concussion or Flashbang since they are a bit more aggressive. The other ones are a bit more sort of passive and allowing you to gain a bit more information about what's around you. The AN-94 does tend to run out of ammunition sometimes and you are going to be a bit more aggressive so having a pistol secondary is just very handy when you do run out of bullets in the primary and the AN-94. Which secondary doesn't really matter. Whichever one you prefer there's no real preference for me. Well, I didn't feel that. That's very important in the sec choice of your secondary. Now the quick draw handle lets you aim down sight faster since you are going to be aiming down the sights more often than not with the AM94 so that doesn't help. And the foregrip lets um, lets you reduce the recoil, which, which the AM94 has a fair amount of, but I don't feel, because it doesn't have uh, a very high fire rate, I feel that it is fairly controllable, the recoil. But using the foregrip just means that you, you can uh, extend your range a little bit more because uh, the recoil at that range is easier to control. So there you go, that's the class setup and strategy that I recommend for the AN-94. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video, and until next time.